For 830 million users and 53 million organizations, LinkedIn is an essential tool for doing business in 2022. And if you're responsible for finding new leads and driving conversions, then the best way to leverage LinkedIn is by using Sales Navigator. What's up? It's Jamal from HubSpot. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the ways that you can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to target the right buyers, make your outreach personalized, and understand key insights. If you wanna learn more about how LinkedIn can be used to amp up your company, you should also download the free HubSpot guide to LinkedIn marketing for business. There's a link in the description. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell. All right, so first things primero, as they say. <laughs> when it comes to using LinkedIn Sales Navigator to optimize your lead generation, the process can be broken down into four stages. Searching for potential customers, then organizing those prospects, messaging those prospects and tracking the results of your prospecting. When it comes to search, Sales Navigator offers dozens of advanced filters not available to regular LinkedIn users. Some of these filters like seniority level and function are designed to help you identify decision makers in the organization. You can also filter by activities which help you stay current with what your prospects are up to. These include having recently changed jobs, been featured in the news or posted something on LinkedIn. There's also a shared experience filter that will let you connect to a potential customer on a personal level. There's even a filter to let you know if anyone within your search parameters already knows your organization. Want to see me put these filters together? Let's imagine I want to start my own line of, oh, I don't know, uh, Jamal branded t-shirts, for example, and I want to sell them at Urban Outfitters. How would I determine the best person for me to contact? A quick search for Urban Outfitters reveals over 6,500 employees, but only 265 decision makers. That's still a lot of decision makers, I'm not gonna lie. Out of that list of 265 decision makers, I'm gonna filter for people who are new to their jobs and people who I've shared experiences with. Now I have a manageable 28 people worth reaching out to. So I'll select all of them and save them to a list that I titled Urban Outfitters. Now I can reach out to these 28 individuals and surely someone is going to get this face into those stores, I hope. Now, odds are whatever you're selling is a lot more in demand than what I'm selling. <laughs> in fact, by applying advanced filters to your search, you'll reduce the avalanche of possible prospects on LinkedIn into a manageable list that you can reach out to and start leading down your sales pipeline. Sales Navigator will also let you save your search parameters so that you can quickly revisit them whenever the top of your funnel needs to be topped off with new prospects. And that's not the only way to save time with Sales Navigator. You can create lead lists to help keep the results of your searches well organized and even shareable across your team. It also lets you filter out leads who you don't want, perhaps because they're in the sales pipeline or maybe they just won't hit you back in the DMs, frankly. These exclusion filters can greatly reduce redundancy in your lead gen and lets you focus on fresh new prospects. But could there also be a way to use the existing data in your CRM to make Sales Navigator work for you? We asked Caroline Bashals, a senior program manager for sales process and systems at HubSpot this question. And she told us to upload our existing account list into Sales Navigator. So you can start receiving automated updates whenever an event occurs, like a promotion or a new round of funding that might merit fresh outreach to the prospect. And if you somehow run out of prospects in the filtering process, the view similar feature can help you find potential leads who closely match, though aren't identical to your ideal customer persona. Technology is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Ultimately, the goal of sales prospecting is to identify decision makers in an organization who could be interested in purchasing your product or service. But once you've identified decision makers, you have to start a process of reaching out to them in order to raise awareness, build trust, and ultimately, close deals. To avoid spam, LinkedIn puts in tight controls on who you can message, as well as how many messages you can send, much to my chagrin. Every Sales Navigator subscription comes with in-mail credits that allow you to contact LinkedIn users outside of your connection. And the LinkedIn UX spotlights these messages so they're hard to ignore. Sales Navigator users receive 50 in-mails per month, but the actual number of in-mails you can send is determined by the response rate you receive. Because every time a user responds to an in-mail that you sent, you get a credit towards sending another in-mail. So if I send 20 in-mail messages and 10 of the recipients respond, I now have 10 more in-mails I can send. See so old in-mail in, in-mail in out. By using Sales Navigator's advanced search functionality, it's easy to draft personalized messages to each prospect, increasing the chances of receiving a response. If you wanna maximize your chances of making meaningful connections with your leads, check out the link to HubSpot's free sales email templates down in the description below. By filling out these templates with the intel you discovered through your filtered searches, you'll be able to generate a terrific response rate. So good in fact, you're probably gonna have a hard time keeping track of them all. I mean, they're just gonna be throwing money at you. Dollars, euros, bitcoins, no rubles though. To help you keep track of all the success, Sales Navigator has a convenient dashboard that you can use to track your overall usage, 
as well as your success rate in outreach. Sales managers can use these tools to track their entire team's performance. And you can integrate Sales Navigator with third-party CRMs like HubSpot so that all of your lead gen activity on LinkedIn can be tracked next to activity on other platforms. Integration is available to Sales Navigator users with advanced or advanced plus subscriptions. Previously called team and enterprise tiers, these upgrades allow users to work together by offering features like the ability to identify prospects who share connections to members of your team so that you can get qualified introductions. There's also advanced ROI reporting and even CRM data validation that will let you cross-check the info in your CRM with the data that LinkedIn has for those individuals. This effectively makes Sales Navigator an extension of your main CRM and turns all of LinkedIn into your business database. And at this point, I feel like you should be pretty confident to start your first search on Sales Navigator. If not, clearly I've let you down in some way. I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments how I can do better. If you're looking for more ways to use LinkedIn to accelerate your business, you can sign up for HubSpot Academy's free LinkedIn for Business course. And look out for more content dedicated to optimizing your LinkedIn strategy coming out soon on this channel. Subscribe now so you don't miss a single lesson. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am gonna be trying to get my face into Urban Outfitters. I don't care if it's on a t-shirt, stickers, coaster, a portrait where we Photoshop my face onto Jesus Christ himself. We're gonna figure it out. Until then, I'll see you next time. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history. Calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot, grow better.